Hello, I'm Phil Svitek, 360 Creative Coach. And when I look at the state of the world, one of the primary issues that we have is that we've just gotten away from talking in depth, right? We, we try to use shorthand far too often. And what I mean by shorthand is lumping people into groups, this or that, right? We always otherize uh, Republicans versus liberals, um, you know, wh whatever else sort of, uh, you know, Christians versus non-Christians, um, spiritual people versus non-spiritual people, um, you know, by race and yada, yada, yada. The list can literally go on and on because we've just gotten infinitely creative at separating ourselves. But I think a, a fun way to combat that is for everyone to just do podcasts. Um, and here, here's what I mean, right? Um, you know, it, it's always funny to me when people say like the podcast market is oversaturated and number one, I don't think it is right. Uh, number two, let's say that it is, it, it's relevant, right? Um, I think there's to me why I love podcasts. Um, you know, the traditional podcast, like the majority of the podcasts that exist are interview style, whether it's one-on-one -on -one or one-on-many, many-on-one, whatever, whatever the case may be. But the idea that, you know, people are talking in long form and going into depth. And I see that as a great benefit, even if, you know, even if you're someone that ultimately doesn't seek success in that way um, and things of that nature. But I think just the act of like recording and preserving thoughts, A, in and of itself is amazing to me, right? I think we get to, you know, hear everyone's story and everyone does have a story. But furthermore, just, you know, the idea that like friends could get together, like just literally... Uh, you know, celebrities use it as an excuse to like really catch up, right? And I think why not translate that towards like, you know, for lack of a better term, everyday people. Again, even if you have no intention ultimately of, you know, success within the podcast space, just the excuse that like, okay, I'm going to learn a podcast and do a podcast. And therefore I get to really sit down and have conversations with my friends. Um, I think is beneficial and not just like the regular conversations that you have day to day, but really being able to ask them more in-depth questions that, you know, just in, in everyday conversation wouldn't make sense to ask, right? Or uh, could, but it'd be a little bit awkward. This like just presents that opportunity to dive in deep of like, okay, tell me about your childhood. How did you grow up? And you know, what are your dreams and, and things of that nature? And I think that aspect of it really starts to get at the humanity within all of us and to recognize the hardships and things of that nature. And uh, I think that's what's so awesome and amazing about podcasts in general is because it allows for that. And that is the reason I think more people should actually be podcasting, even if, again, forget the listenership and so forth. It's just a great tool to be able to utilize to get at these uh, deeper, more meaningful dialogues, right? That are so in my opinion, desperately needed within our world to solve a lot of the woes that exist. So we stop to otherize and we start to recognize the humanity within all of us and how, and the oneness of all of us as opposed to, you know, this or that. So that's, that's what this episode is about. It's literally just to tell you, I think that you should start a podcast and that is the reason why you should start a podcast. Um, forget like overthinking it literally just I think there's there's just an inherent benefit to speaking with your friends and recording it um, as a podcast so um, that's my advice to you anyway thank you so much I appreciate you and hope to see you next time